This is Lesson 92, VHDL Example 62. This one's on traffic lights. We're going to try to simulate a pair of traffic lights, say the north-south ones and east-west. So this shows east-west being red and north-south being green. We'll call that state zero, and we'll stay in there for, say, five seconds. We're going to assume you have very fast uh, race cars to get through. We'll make it five seconds so we don't have to sit here for a minute or so. And then state one, the north-south will go to yellow, so we'll have yellow and red for one second, and then red and red for one second, and then east-west will go to green, and north-south will go to red. And we'll stay in the red-green for five seconds, to let our fast race cars through. And then state four, north-south will be red, east-west will go to yellow, and then they'll both go to red again for one second, and then we'll cycle back to state S0, back to green, red. So that's the idea. And we can make a state diagram for this. There are six states, we'll just label them S0, S1, S2, S3, S4, S5, like we had in the previous table. And all we need to do is delay. So the idea is we delay within these states. So this is the first red-green state, and we'll stay here for five, for five seconds. So if we use our, our three hertz clock, our lowest frequency clock, we can count 15 clock cycles, which will correspond to 5 seconds. So we'll have a count, and if the count is less than 15, we'll just stay here incrementing the count. And when it gets to 15, we'll reset the count to 0 and go to state S1. So this will be the yellow-red state. And then we want to stay here for 1 second, that is 3 clock uh, pulses. So if the count is less than 3, then we'll stay here, and when the count gets to 3, we'll go to the red-red state, and we'll stay in here for one second, or three counts, and then we'll go to the green-red state, and we'll stay here for five seconds when the count is less than 15, and then we'll move over to the yellow-red for one second, red-red for one second, and then back to the original red-green. So we'll just keep cycling through. So this will be the state diagram for our traffic lights. Well, let's make a VHDL program called Traffic. We'll have the clock and clear in, and we'll have the lights, uh, six bits coming out. We can send them to the, uh, our LEDs to simulate the traffic lights just to test it. So five down to zero will be lights. Now we're going to do something a little different than we did for our other uh, state machines. We'll have a type state type is, and we'll have our six states, S0, S1, S2, S3, S4, S5. But now we'll define only a single, uh, one signal called state of type state type. Remember before we had present state and next state, but now we're just going to have state because we also need a signal count which is 3 down to 0, it also has to be sequential. That is, we want count to increment on the rising edge of the clock. So in the module that's normally our state registers, we'll also have to include a little counter in there. So we'll do it all at once. We'll make a constant seconds 5 and seconds 1, corresponding to 15. 15 counts for 5 seconds, 3 counts for um, 1 second. And then we'll have a process clock clear. So this is our sequential one. If clear is 1, state is S0, but we'll also set the count to 0. So count is our 4-bit output of a counter. Else on the rising edge of the clock, clock tick event and clock equals 1. Then we'll do our usual uh, case statement for going around the state machine, but we'll also include the count. So when S0, if count is less than second 5, that is less than 15, then we want to stay in S0. So state is S0, 
and we'll increment count. Count equals count plus one. Okay. So we stay here for 15 counts. Else, when it gets to 15, we go to state S1. So state is S1, and the count gets reset to zero. Then when we're in S1, if count is less than seconds one, we're going to stay here for three counts now, incrementing the count. Else we go to state S2 and reset the count to zero. If we're in S2, we want to stay here for uh, three clock cycles. So if count is less than seconds one, we're going to stay in S2 and increment the count. Otherwise, we go to S3 and reset the count. And we just keep doing this. If we're in S3, we're going to stay here for 15 counts, incrementing the count. Else we go to S4 and reset the count. If we're in S4, then we'll stay here for one second, incrementing the count. Else we go to S5, reset the count. When we're in S5, we'll stay here for one second, incrementing the count. Otherwise, we go back to S0 and reset the count. Then we just keep going in the traffic light. When others, of course, we'll set the state to S0. Okay, let's look at our output combinational module C2, process state. Case state is when it's S0, we want it to be red green. So this will be, say, red and this is green and then it's red, yellow in state S1, then red, red in state S2, then green, red in state S3 for five seconds, then yellow, red in state S4, and then back to red, red in state S5. And then of course it goes back to S0, back to red, green. So here's our simulation. Here's the clock. We'll assume this is our three hertz clock. So we start out, say, at red-green for five seconds, then red-yellow, red-red, each for one second, and then green-red for five seconds, and then yellow-red for one second, red-red for one second, and then back to red-green. So that seems to work. We can make a top-level design. We just need but, uh, buttons, three down to three for our clear, M clock in, LD seven down to two for our six LEDs. Here we'll put the component clock div. We only have two of them, so we'll list them here in traffic. And then the signals clear and clock three. Is that clear to button three? And then we just wire up clock div and traffic. So the traffic gets clock 3, our 3 hertz clock, and the lights go to the 6 LEDs. So you should uh, compile and implement uh, this top level design and download it to your FPGA and you should be able to then watch the traffic lights go on the LEDs.